Hey Taurus, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be another weekly reading for the month of June. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returner, welcome back. Um, this reading is going to be general, so it may not resonate with every single one of you, but if it does, please hit the like. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe. Um, yeah, let's just get into it and see what the universe has for you today. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. I get the feeling that a lot of you have a lot of options for success, for happiness, for relationships. Um, I feel like you are being divinely guided and I feel like you are pretty much like just... I get the feeling that everything is kind of going in the direction that you want it to go and sometimes that might be a little bit um, scary because sometimes we think you know it's too good to be true but i feel that you are actually really trusting this situation for once i feel like there's something that's really 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 positive um, in your life right now and i feel like in the past you might have been a little bit scared about, you know, being successful or scared about, you know, things actually going your way. But I feel that now you're truly embracing the fact that, you know, you've done you've done so much to get to this point in your life. And I feel like you're really, really like enjoying your success, enjoying your happiness, enjoying your freedom and the fact that you are able to make your own decisions. I feel like you feel this um, independence and autonomy over your own life and I feel like you're making a lot of choices based on the things that you love and based on your passions and what you want your future to look like. Um, you have just about all of the best cards on the table right now and um, so let, let me just show you. So you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. So a, a lot of really, really good cards here. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, I feel like you have just done so much lately um, in the recent past to get to this place of financial stability you're having really healthy connections with people you are just focusing on all the good in your life i feel like you're not dwelling on negative negative things or negativity i feel like you've gone away or maybe stepped away from people that were draining your energy and draining your resources and draining your happiness i feel like you've been getting closer to people that share your same vibe that share your same energy that share your same love of life i feel like you're surrounding yourself um, with people that are really positive really empowering really motivating i feel like you are just so abundant in both happiness and resources right now and i feel like there's very little in your life that is making you feel like you're not you know stable there's a lot of stability and a lot of happiness right now in this energy that I'm feeling, which is absolutely amazing. With the Eight of Wands and the Four of Swords, I feel like you're being guided by your intuition um, in a way that is very, not, not necessarily new, but I feel like you're adding on to your wisdom. I feel like you've been in this spiritual um, enlightenment journey for a while now but I feel like you're really starting to understand just how intuitive you are and just how much you can actually 
perceive other people's emotions and feelings and i feel like you understand that you can read the room you can pick up on how someone is acting towards you and determine you know whether or not that's something that you want to allow into your life i feel like everything that you've dealt with in your past has allowed you to learn and heal and grow to the point where now you receive downloads from universe you receive gut feelings more easily and you're able to trust that and make decisions accordingly i feel like you're just being guided by all of the things you know you're being guided by spirit you know the universe god whatever you believe in you're being guided by that you're receiving communication from a higher power and you're really starting to understand exactly what it is that you need to do in order to maintain your happiness and maintain your your comfort you know comfort is really important to you taurus and you know that's not just a stereotype but for you specifically i do feel like comfort is something that you've been searching for for a really long time i feel like in the recent past you might have been going through a really difficult time whether it be in relationships or financially i feel like you just went through so much and now you're finally starting to really appreciate just how how much better things are i feel like you're just in a really comfortable happy place and you're just you're grateful for that and the thing about gratitude is that it you know it comes back to you in the form of blessings and abundance you know we always hear that we have to be grateful and you know that we have to be i mean grateful i mean there's not really any other way to put it we just have to be grateful for the things that we have the things that we take for granted you know i feel like you're really starting to embody that gratitude and it's coming back to you in in tenfold i feel like this 10 here and this 10 here is proof that you've been really really good on your mindset lately and i feel like you've been grateful you've been mindful you've been respectful you've been you've just been really letting out positive higher vibrations and the universe is giving that back to you in the form of all of the things that you could ever want but the most important thing here is to understand that because of your actions you're receiving the exact things that you have been asking for and that's the beautiful thing about karma is that it's not always bad good karma exists and you're receiving it in downloads and in information and in wisdom and healing and growth with the two of wands and the four of wands i get the feeling that you are starting to really really move in a in a new direction and a stable direction with someone that you absolutely love i feel like there is a connection in your life right now that is just blossoming and growing more and more every day and it's eventually going to lead to this four of wands this happily ever after i mean you have the ten of cups here and you have the ten of pentacles there's a legacy there is something here that you and another person are building for your future and you're starting to really um make plans you're starting to really think about what it is that you and your person want and and only you and the person that you're with can understand just how much it's taken for you to get to this point i feel like you're with someone that really truly understands that everything that you've been through and all the growth that you've you know had and and all of the healing that you've done i feel like only they truly understand just how just how important it is for this to happen and just how you know these decisions that now you are starting to make really are a testament to your strength to your patience to your loyalty i feel like you've been very loyal and maybe in the past you were dealing with someone that wasn't loyal and didn't appreciate your loyalty and now you've finally met someone that truly truly appreciates you and the fact that you are ready for a commitment or the fact that you do want you know something like marriage or just to be with someone for a very long time and just give all your energy to that person and the future that you two build together this is such a beautiful reading taurus oh my goodness i really hope this resonates um for you know all of you honestly with the queen of swords um i feel like sometimes you tend to um get in your head a little bit too much about you know where it is that you see yourself going in the future and i i would say you know if i had to give some sort of advice i don't usually do that in my readings because i i feel like readings are mostly just to provide insight and to just for you to get a better understanding of your own life and your own situation but if i had to provide an you know advice considering that all of 
the other cards here are so good. It's just to appreciate the moment. Just don't be so in your head about this. Don't don't be so fearful. You already have everything that you need and everything that you want. Just believe that it is yours. Believe that you deserve it. Believe that this is actually not just too good to be true, but it's yours for the taking. It's what you deserve. It's what you've worked hard for. It's it's what you've grown for, healed from, and healed towards, you know? Don't be so in your head about it. Don't be hard on yourself and continue to have that, you know, that abundance uh, mindset because you are capable of manifesting what you want. And I think that, you know, that gratitude and that ability to think differently is really what's brought you here. And, and I would continue to do that. Sometimes we want to think so much with our head. And we want to use logic more than our hearts because we're afraid of how much we could hurt that we tend to forget that being in the moment, being present, being in alignment with the life that we have now is truly, you know, living. That's living is being in the moment. Um, I feel like this is very straightforward, but let's clarify the... Oh, I forgot a card. So with the Nine of Pentacles... I, I think this is just a testament to the fact that you've done a lot of this on your own. I feel like whoever this person is, um, I feel like they kind of came into your life just as you were starting to build yourself up. I feel like whoever you're in a relationship with or whoever you have a very strong connection with, they came in almost at the right time just as you were really starting to believe in yourself and have confidence and have an idea of what it is that you really, really want. And I feel like because they came in your came into your life during this time when you were really doing it on your own, it made you even more empowered and more motivated to continue going. Because there's nothing like someone seeing us really fight for ourselves and appreciate that, that we realize that we're doing the right thing. Sometimes we need that. Let's clarify the Eight of Wands. So, the Nine of Cups, we got the Nine of Cups. Now, we have Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You are so um, in alignment with yourself and so fulfilled with your own growth and understanding and healing. And that is why you're receiving all of these communications. Do not doubt do not doubt the communication that you receive from universe. If you're seeing signs, if you're seeing synchronicities, if you're seeing angel numbers, if you're seeing random things on billboards or signs or anything random that you think, you know, it's nothing, pay attention to those things. Pay attention because the universe is trying to communicate with you to tell you that you are going in the right direction. You are being divinely guided in every single aspect of your life, whether or not you know that. But if you are aware of the messages that you are receiving, if you really start to pick up on these things, you will, you will realize just how protected and loved you are. Not just by the people around you, and you're not just abundant in material things, but you are abundant in energy. The universe wants you to be so intuitive that you catch each and every thing that's trying to knock you off of your game. Okay, let's clarify the Four of Swords. Okay, that was fast. To clarify, wow, this is crazy. To clarify the Four of Swords, which to me in this reading is really truly about healing from the past and growing and learning from past mistakes, past relationships, past situations. We have the Ten of Wands and the Death card. Four of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Wands, which is about stress, responsibility, things weighing us down, things really being on our backs, things really getting in the way of our happiness, and the Death card, things coming to an end. Something came to an end, something that was truly stressing you out, came to an end, and now you've healed, you've grown, you've learned. Oh my goodness. You could have possibly um, dealt with a Scorpio also. Just saying that. Wow. I don't even I don't even think I have to clarify anymore, Taurus. To be honest, I'm 
but I will, I will. Let's clarify one more. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. Let's, I want to know more about that energy. To clarify the Queen of Swords, we got the Chariot. Just go with the flow. Trust the process. Believe in this feeling. Believe in your abundance and go towards it. Go with it. Do not stay in your head. You're being called to move forward. Not backwards, not to the side, but forward. You are moving so quickly towards everything that you want. And the key to keep going and to keep riding this wave is to stay out of your head and to just really trust your gut. Trust your gut. Sometimes our gut is more correct and more right and more in alignment with what we want and what we and with what we need than our heads, okay? Trust your gut and keep moving forward because you are truly, truly, truly manifesting everything that you want because of the work that you've done, the, the healing that you've done, and, and, and you're, you're just, you're getting it. You're going to get everything that you want as long as you stay true to yourself and as long as you listen listen to the universe it is trying to communicate with you okay taurus if that resonated please hit the like and if you would like to see more please subscribe and i will see you in the next one